Good morning. My name is Red Moon Eagle and you are watching Daily Devotions with Red Moon Eagle. I am not sure what time of year this is probably going to be, but I this is a banked video. Uh, right now we are in the tide of renewal, which is the spring equinox from the summer solstice. Um, I bank a lot of videos because I never know where I'm going to be sometimes. And I like to make sure I have things that can go out at least twice a week. Um, I've been tipping and kind of changing the format a little bit. So uh, there are more than 365 days worth of daily devotions. So there is a lot of material out there and I encourage you to find one that suits you. If this one doesn't, you can find another one. Okay, so let's start in. So in the self-care guidebook, the card is Burning Bowl Ritual. The mantra here is I surrender to the fire of transformation and allow light to guide the way. Fire is a powerful tool for transmuting negative energy, letting go of old patterns and stories, sending prayers to the universe. The journal prompt is, how do you feel after completing a fire burning ritual? Is there anything more you'd like to release? When you're releasing things, it's usually stuff that you have held on to that belong to other people. There's also the trauma response, the things that you're holding in your body that you need to intentionally release out of your consciousness. And then there's also the action part. And trauma hides in the body in very interesting ways. So there's a lot to that. Egyptian cards. We have 22 Unquet, 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 Hope. She is depicted as a woman with a high headdress made of reeds or ostrich feathers. More rarely, she is represented in the form of a gazelle. Being the goddess of the Nile, she is linked to its floods, which bring nourishment, fertility, prosperity to the earth. This is where she gets her name, she who surrounds. That is her invasion of the lands that embrace every being to bring fertility and happiness. She represents the generosity that, rises, that gives, gives rise to life. Trust in the protection of Unquet, who will guide you and bolster your courage, who gives you intensity and hope, even when renunciations and sacrifices arise. Remember that hope is in the heart of the optimist. Oh, that's beautiful. She who surrounds, that is her invasion of the lands that embrace every being to bring fertility and happiness. She represents generosity that gives rise to life. Trust in the protection of Ankuet, who will guide you to bolster your courage, who gives you intensity and hope, even when renunciations and sacrifices arise. Oh, it's beautiful, Ankuet. I love that. Okay, so our animal spirit guidebook, we have the scorpion. Passionate, competitive, tends towards isolation. The scorpion is a passionate and determined creature. The career is very important to them. There, there are a few select friends. Sometimes the scorpion's heat festers and they focus on the unresolved event from the past, usually a situation where they left feeling burned. The scorpion card says it's time to come clean about your feelings so everyone can heal and you can get back to your usual fiery but fun self. When in balance, fun, wild, free, fierce. When out of balance, jealous, resentful, unresolved. To bring into balance, honesty and forgiveness. Oh, I love that. That's a powerful card right there. And the shaman oracle card. Stand still. When standstill appears, it is a symbol of pausing. The act of observation, breathing space, it represents the benefits of temporary non-action as well as what happens when one is stuck. The invitation of this card, when things seem to stall or stagnate or you feel stuck, this symbol appears as a reminder that constant action isn't going to get you where you want to go. Perhaps it's time to gather more information or just wait until the universe makes the next move. No matter what, this moment is a beautiful gift orchestrated in your favor. Enjoy it. Let the universe bring all the parts together for the highest good. Go and play, recharge, and take the focus off whatever has stalled. 
Life will get busy again for you sooner than you think. The medicine of this card. Time to get out of the analysis paralysis. Stand still invites you to turn within. Breathe, recognize this is the condition of the moment. It allows you the opportunity to bear witness to whatever's going on before movement resumes. This is also an opportunity to abort a project to exit before damage. And it may also be a time to relieve you of the unnecessary burden that took that you took on without considering the cost, which one it is depends on your stopping, taking a breath, quieting your mind, removing all your distractions. Then you can make your next move on a grounded, relaxed, detached way. When something doesn't go the way you think it should, remember the following. What is yours cannot be taken away. Oh, I love that. Pausing. I think for the prayer today, I think one of the things that makes a lot of sense is renewal, pausing, and there's a sense of with, with Scorpion today that there's a fierce wildness that comes from and burning ritual. So we also have burning ritual, the ritual of letting go. There's a sense of a lot of people think fire is this chaotic thing. And I understand where that comes from. But we have a couple fire things here. And then we have renewal. We have unquet. And unquet is from the Nile. She's the renewal. And it brings me to some of the legends of the Phoenix, right? Like rising from the ashes. Fire is very much Mother Earth, the, the Earth we live on, Gaia. It's her element. It's her heart's blood. Her first blood was silica. It's her, her heart's element of beingness. And she is fire, renewal, she is passion, she is depth, she is all the things we think of as fire. But she is also life. And we carry that in our bodies. We carry that electrical energy in our bodies. It makes everything move. And even the, even the cold-blooded animals have to have a certain amount of warmth to survive. And she gives them that through that fire, through the heat. And she borrows heat from the sun. The sun itself also gives life, right? And there is a prayerful awareness that comes forward with these cards that standstill was really kind of where it clicked for me is that in all of these, when you're burning to release something, when you're be creative and forgiving, when you're moving with creative energy, when you're when you're in that place of renewal and life-giving, when you stop to pause, to take a moment to revitalize yourself, take a moment to reflect, you often find the messages that help you out in the world and in your interpersonal relationships in the world and with yourself. And one of the things I have found over the years working with a lot of people is that you have people who go, 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 go. And there's nothing wrong with go, 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 go. It's just that, and I, I, I've been there and I am that person in many ways. I love the go, 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 go. But there's also a quality of needing to stand still to find the movement in standing still taking taking the moment to reflect to find a pause of what's going on around you to take a moment to pay attention to find the energy that's in that space to find the harmony that's in that space to find the harmony in yourself um it's something that Ironically, I think my dad probably spent the most time teaching me and my grandmother spent the most time teaching me. I'm pretty sure my dad and my grandma are probably the same national number, but the, 
they would go inside themselves to reflect. And natural number fours go inside to reflect. They go inside to find their place of peace. And I learned a lot about that, having those influences in my life. And there is a movement for me when I go inside and the going inside for me moves up and down the column of energy in my body where I, I have a touchstone, like a, like a moment of touching into each of the chakras and touching into where my central nervous system is working. And um, I had toxic mold many years ago, or not many, but a few years ago. And there is a lingering vagal nerve trigger that happens with exposure for me, I've noticed. And so I'm always like going in to reflect in my body, but always coming out. You know, there's a moment of coming out and then being with the world and seeing what in the world triggered that internal thing that I needed to reflect on. Um, and every morning, every morning of, of my day or, or week or however you want to say it, um, unless I'm getting up and running out the door, which is pretty rare nowadays, but I used to do that a lot. Um, I try to get up early enough that I have time to reflect, to sit with Astra for a little bit. She loves these mornings where I sit with her and she can look out the window and, and she loves to sit in my lap and look out the window with me. And we have a moment of reflection. We have a moment of standing still and just being with each other. Um, all of our animal companions that are in our life show us a great deal about how to be, how to stand still and be in the moment. And they can teach us a lot about what that looks like. Um, and when you're, when you're in that moment of reflection, sometimes there's a sense of renewal. There's a sense of awareness that there's new things to be aware of. And sometimes there's a release that happens with that. Um, I did notice that for Beltane this year, I sat here at my table and I lit a candle because Beltane May 1st, it's still just, you're getting light in the morning right at a time, but it's also a little dark. And I opened my window that morning. It was really cold outside and I cracked the window or I cracked the door and I lit a candle and it was beautiful. Astra sat in my lap and there were, there was really this 10, 15 minutes where we just sat with the candle and the sun came up and it was this beautiful experience to, to think about like, where is the renewal here? Where is the new thing? And life has turned a corner for me and I have stepped into my power more and I've stepped into my responsibilities in the community more. And those things mean that I have to give other people space and that also means I have to trust the process and I know that it'll it'll be okay one way or the other it will be okay but we're not going back to the way it was before Beltane <laughs> and there's a reason why we have a turning there's a reason why we're always moving but it doesn't have to be this scary awful um, isolating thing it can be a moving thing with others and moving Anytime you change something, there's loss and grief, there's sadness, there can be a sense that you are losing something valuable, but turning and moving doesn't mean loss is a bad thing. Loss and grief can trigger traumas, and those triggers mean that you have the opportunity to work through something and let that thing go so that you have more freedoms and more opportunities in the future. You, you build your capacity to handle new things when you release the traumas that have been building up. And it's been a theme in the last couple weeks. The universe keeps bringing me more and more valid validating things that have reinforced this, this learning that I've been through in the last year and a half. And the universe keeps bringing me more and more validating messages of this is important this is something you've been teaching in one way and now you're going to teach in a new way 
and you have more information. And here is another nugget of information that you can add to it. Um, I'm getting really close to being able to get that book written <laughs> that everybody asks me about. Pretty much all the clients that are a particular kind of client ask me for the same book. So I need to get it written. Um, anyway, I hope you all have a beautiful day. Have a beautiful day of prayer and connection. And as you go out and about in the world, take note of our animal companions. Take note of the moments of standstill. They're not stuck. Find movement within them. Find a place of renewal. I hope you all have a beautiful day and I will see you in prayer.